All right, welcome everybody. We're back with another review. Today we're going to review the Nerf Zombie Strike Revoltinator. I love this blaster. It's fantastic. Before we get into the review, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It helps the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. So this is a Revoltinator. I thrifted this dude. Uh, I think I did. I don't remember. I did a video on it. It was a, I think it was one of the thrift finds that we had. Uh, we did a really good deal on uh, zombies. We really came in, came in with it on that day. Now I think these actually came with the 18s. This is actually a Stampede 18 round magazine. I'm pretty sure that this came with the 18s as well. This is semi-auto, flywheel blaster, and uh, you do have your damn door right here. Got your little carry handle here. Does have one tack rail on it. Has an in-strike attachment where you can put a barrel on it. Stock is non-removable. But the actual architecture in this thing is awesome. You got rebar here, wire, some more rebar, some electrical batteries. Looks like nine volts. They actually say Nerf on them. It's pretty cool. Then you've got all this extra artwork in here. And you got this, it's like a shock actually. But the cool thing about it is when you take this dude out, this. I mean, it does it without it, but it's kind of cooler to show it. So your rev trigger lights it up here, here, and it makes different sounds. If you do it the second time, it does that right there. How cool is that? Loading it, like I said, all my mags, I've got two 18 sticks right now. I've got another 18 stick loaded with waffle darts. These are elites. We'll take some across the chronograph, and then we'll, we're not going to shoot all 18 across the chronograph, but... You just simply put it right there. Mag releases right here. Rev trigger, trigger. This is a semi-automatic flywheel blaster. So, um, I don't remember what performance size what this thing is, how, how well it does. But it's not, best I remember, it's not terrible. So, and I'm pretty sure, I've already forgotten where the batteries are in this one. I'm, I'm pretty sure this one's A4. Yeah, they go in here. Take that screw out right there. And then this piece opens up, and I'm, I, there's four double A's in here. I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, it takes four double A's in there right in there. So, but here we go. We're going to go ahead, and it does have a mount here, and this could be used as a mount. It does have a tack rail on the bottom as well, but there's no real mount there. I mean, I guess you could get something stuck in there. I mean, you could put something through here, I guess. I mean, wrap something. I guess you could just run with it. I don't know. There's options. You could actually use this if you needed to. But, so we're going to go ahead and run across the graph. Let's see what she does. I, I really like this. This is super cool. Huge fan of the Zombie Strike period. Doesn't matter what it is. But the fact that this one makes noises, lights up, does all the other cool stuff. Uh, I mean, it's about this. Here we go. Let's see what she does. 41, 39. Say something not feeding right. It should be better than that. 45, 51, 54, 53, 53, 56, 52. So it's right around 52, 56. Should be a little faster than that, but. I don't know, that's not terrible. So what we're gonna do is I've got a uh I've got a magazine loaded up here with uh various awful darts. There's some zeros in there, a couple. Most of them are dart zone. But we're gonna we're gonna spit the rest of these out right here at these two plates and then I will switch over to this one and then we'll try to get real accurate with it. But here we go. Here we go. 
and there you have it. That's just the difference between wheat and uh, <laughs> waffle darts. Uh, a lot. So, pretty sweet little blaster. Um, I don't know how often you, you thrift these. It seems like it comes in waves for me. Like, I don't find anything good. And then sometimes I'll find an in strike, and then I might find two. And that's it. And then it seems like next time I'll find a zombie strike or two or three. I've actually found three or one. So it's like, wow. And they were all different. So it's weird. But this one's in super really good shape. And we found this one and we found a different one the same day, which was awesome. Because like I said, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of them. I don't have them all, but we do have a lot of the actual zombie strike. And I've made reviews on, I think, just about all of my eyes. There's still a few more that I have not made reviews on yet. But, um, super cool blaster. It makes some noises. I mean, come on. That, that's just about as cool as it gets. Flywheel blaster. Uh, a little underpowered, but honestly, its performance might be because of us. Because I think this thing has been used a lot this one, the Moto Blitz, the Double Punch, and the Rex Rampage have had a lot of rounds ran through them. And they probably need a battery change. I didn't think this one had been shot that much, but I think maybe it has. It does seem like it's revving all the way up. But I think the performance should be a little bit better. But it could be due to the loss of this thing because it's a really long barrel. So right here is where it's feeding. It's got this really long barrel. That's probably really screwing it up. So that's probably what it is, actually. It's just screwing the accuracy up because of the barrel. But anyway, that's the Revolt Mater. So if you come across one of these, I highly recommend you pick it up. It's super cool. It's super awesome. And nothing else. It just looks really cool hanging on the wall like that. Look at that. But hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching.